my beloved love, I am feeling, because this lover's card came out here. For most people, this message is connecting with this feeling of disappointment or delay is most likely around some kind of love situation. There could be something about a mountain that connects with someone, but that also could be metaphorical. It's almost felt like you are climbing a mountain within this connection, like there's a lot of energy, effort, expenditure here to get to the peak, to get to the top of this mountain. It feels like this also could represent a perceived obstacle that feels like a mountain between you and this person or within this situation. When this card came out, it was carrying this energy of surprise as well, as though you might be sitting here in this energy of the Three of Pentacles reversed, feeling the delay, feeling the disappointment, wondering if you're wasting time, and then all of the sudden, out of nowhere, things really start to come together in a powerful way. I'm also getting that someone here is feeling pulled in two directions or feeling conflicted. I'm getting that these feelings of confliction, for whoever I'm speaking to, may actually be because of this difference between what your soul knows and what your ego fears. And specifically, once again, I'm getting that message that your soul is in this lover's energy, sitting on the sacral chakra, knowing that it is exactly where it needs to be, that you are exactly planted, specifically in the most optimal position in time and space, and in physical reality to optimize your soul's growth and evolution. And you know that by surrendering to that process of evolution, happening through where you've been planted in the present, you will continuously remain in close alignment with your highest vibrational timeline, which is automatically aligning you with the highest available vibrational people, soul connections, communications, opportunities, situations, etc., in the physical world. But from your ego's perspective, that place you've been planted looks highly uncertain. And therefore, it's almost as though the ego is trying to motivate you through fear or anxiety to push you to someplace different, or to try and get out of that feeling of the unknown. But again, at the same time, your soul is trying to get you to embrace that unknown knowing. At a spiritual level, that unknown is actually a portal that is quantum shifting you into these higher realities, these higher versions of yourself. And I find it really interesting as well that the lover's card is actually sitting on this sacral chakra. What this tells me is that this harmonious love situation, whether it's the harmonizing of a particular connection that's already in your life, the calling in of a new connection, or the deepening of a connection, however this represents for you, this is being called in through your open sacral chakra energy. Of course, this is the energy of present moment surrender, receptivity, openness, and emotional vulnerability as well. From Divine Muscular. Tight, yes, if you believe. 